Good morning, everyone. We're back here because, as you know, we had an awesome update last night. Again, coming out with awesome stuff all the time. We're doing Blitz Mode here. This is the big, big, giant update for Blitz Mode to make it competitive. Over here on the left of my screen, we have the notes. In the middle, we have the game. And on the right, you have my unshaven, redneck, lumberjack-looking face. All right. Um, actually, the very first thing they show are five new cards here. So we're going to go into the shop, and as we're in the shop, I'll kind of go over all the shop things that are that are new. So they came out with five new cards, as you can see here, three epics and two rares. So we will click on these packs. You can see there's four packs here, which there was only three before. This one here has all the new cards on it if you want to check it out. We'll go over it real quick. So the new Iron Man, there's only 700 of them in the game. Uh, two fragments after summoning deal 400 damage to all distant enemies with two or more cost. I don't like cards that have that many levels to it. You know, deal 400 damage is a nice amount, but only to two or more cost. <laughs> It's okay, and the stats aren't that great, excuse me. Uh, 480, yeah, it's not that great. Alright, uh, Black Widow, 2 gem, decent stats here t for 2 fragments. Uh, after summoning, switch 1 enemy card, then deal 400 to the enemy with the lowest hit points. I actually like that a lot better than the Iron Man, so it's Black Widow staying with the switching format here. Nice. Spider-Man, uh, when the opponent plays an action card, move to an empty slot without cosmic fragments, then deal 280 to a nearby enemy. That actually fits his character really well. You could just see the the eight little legs crawling around the screen and, and going to empty slots. That could be really fun. And it's only one gem, so that's actually, or one fragment, that's really, that's a neat card. I actually really like that one, and that goes really good with movement decks. So that might be a really good card to get. Uh, rescue, after summoning, deal 210 damage to all distant enemies with one or less cost. Uh, one or less, it makes sense. She's only one fragment. So you play her early in the game, maybe after everyone drops, you know, two or three zero cost people. And then Hawkeye, after summoning, deal 200 damage to an enemy with the highest attack and to an enemy with the highest hit points. Uh, for two fragments, D, uh, he has good stats. 200 damage is a little weak, but he's doing it to two people, so that's not a bad card for a rare at all. So those are the five new cards, as you can see here, that came out. Now, uh, we'll move into Blitz in one second. We are, I'll just go through the rest of this with you. So as you notice, when we go down through here, there's no more basic vault in the special products. But they do have uh, new Battle World card vaults here. So they have two different ones. And if you didn't know, all these green thumbs mean you do not have the card. It's saying, please get this card. And as you can see, I am terrible at getting epics. <laughs> uh, so I don't have hardly any of those. And then we could go into the second vault again. Hardly any of those. So I have a lot of work to do even though I opened up 110 cards. It is what it is. Um, so the two new vaults are there. We go into card packs and this is where the basic card key is. Or the yeah, card vault key is. Um, they have the all these. You know what? Let's do a vault opening. I'm telling you, you only get these awesome, amazing things randomly in my videos. Of course, my computer is very slow but I still don't have how is this possible I still don't have Tony Stark oh, I'm embarrassed oh yeah that's a good one let me see what we got here it's loading the suspension is suspension suspense oh my god you know what it's got to be so good that I'm just gonna oh <laughs> perfect isn't she dead all right um I didn't want to do spoilers to the end game, so. Uh, daily offers still down here. Do not forget this, because a lot of people probably do. Uh, every day, the, those are down there. Those are the only ones you can buy for gold. Uh, recharge is the same. And in Mode Shop, the difference is now you can buy basic keys for 500. So when you have, you know, a 
bunch of like arena points like I do. You can spend some on that as I'm changing my thing. Um, horde mode, nobody ever does that hardly anymore, so I don't have a lot for that. All right, so those are the things that happen in the shop. So let's go now to the main event here, the blitz changes. As you can see here, it is now competitive. It says here, the higher the cards upgrade tier, the higher the attack and hit point increase. More so than other, um, other modes. And team synergy is now lowered because it used to be you just throw all these all the same ones in there and you go they're making blitz a lot more uh, different you know where you can change everything it's not all the same stuff so uh, the attack yeah some attack and all that so I want to show you my deck real quick I don't know why I went into edit but the cards have definitely changed like let's show Baron Strike for instance now you deal 851 to 1047. That's a that's a big difference than what it was before. Um, and if you look here, like my A bomb, who's my only maxed out epic, look at that. 304 attack, 1,109 hit points. Ridiculous. So they definitely so check it out. Make sure you look at all your stuff to make it easy. I searched by attack and uh, hit points, and that kind of brings up everything. The other really cool thing in About Time, but thank God they're listening, is the emblem, the synergy selection here. So you can actually sort by synergies now, which is way better. It's so awesome. Even though in Blitz it's not as important, it still is. So uh, you can now do that. The fastest way, if you want, if you clear all and you just want to do like uh, Avengers, you can do that, hit apply, and all the Avengers show up. So really neat, saves a lot of time, way better than going back and looking through collections. All right, uh, so that's one part of Blitz. Uh, we'll go over, they made it the same as Challenge and Arena, where you have to get seven stars, you have to go through. There are 10 levels though, uh, 10 levels or tiers of Blitz before you get into competitive. Now the cool thing about that is you see here, if you get into competitive blitz, you get an epic card, which is really awesome. So you get rare cards going all the way up through, and then when you get seven stars in blitz 10, you become now in competitive blitz. And then it gets fun. You know, you, you go for it. Now keep in mind, it's the same as challenge in arena. If you're at the very bottom end of competitive and you lose, you can drop back down to the tiers. So don't do that. Um, it's the same also, uh, by the way, the first uh, season is only six days for Blitz because of the timing of it, I guess. So make sure you're in there grinding because it's only six days. Get, get your points, get everything. Um, and then the week, right when that restarts, it's two week seasons, two week seasons. Um, it always reset to 60 just like normal. You go down to bronze 60 if you are in competitive. So let's say we get Platinum 1 and we're all happy. It'll start back over at Bronze 60, which is normal. If you aren't, it'll start wherever the hell you are. Wherever the heck you are. Pardon my language. Um, here is the rewards, promotion rewards. So the cool thing is once you hit Platinum, you start getting rare cards. Platinum 1, 2, and 3, uh, which is really nice. So you can start getting some rare cards. It's the same, though. Everything is the same. So... You know, it's not anything crazy. They didn't really change anything, which is good. Uh, same thing with the season rewards by rank. Obviously, if you get top one, you get a crap ton. But most people are here, right, at Platinum 1. So you'll get your premium car pack, which is great. The daily rewards. So they kept the same theme, which kind of, I hate it, but it is what it is, where you can't get rares anymore. You just get uncommons and commons for that platinum one. You can't even get rares for top one. I think that's insanity, but it is what it is. So if you need to look, just pause the video if you really want to go over these and search it. Um, that's up to you. Uh, another change, this is the horde mode, and we'll come back to blitz. This is the horde mode. You can now get, um, where is he at, Ultron 
at wave 65. There's potential for that, which is kind of cool if you want to get all the leaders and you can't get to wave 70. Um, so they changed the, the obtainable leaders, uh, the random chance, so you can get everybody at wave 65 and you can get most people up to that. Kind of cool. Um, this is super generic, but I like it. So you can get more experience and gold from defeating enemies. Um, if you didn't know, if you are going into anything, any battle, and you kill an enemy, you'll see either gold pop out like you're in Sonic the Hedgehog, or uh, you'll get experience up, or you can even steal their card. Not steal it, but get a duplicate of their card and you get it. So now they're increasing uh, experience in gold, which is cool. That's, that's cool. You always want more experience in gold. Uh, more achievements were added, and some normal achievement rewards have been increased. Uh, if you are happy about getting every single one, then you could get a buttload of gold and experience. That's always nice, I guess. Uh, new achievements, that's all good in the hood if you're going for achievements. Um, this is all what I talked about already, which is really cool, the team synergy thing. I really like it. Now, when you kick someone's butt in Arena Blitz, Challenge, uh, any mode, or if you don't kick their butt, regardless, you can now co uh, check out their deck. So if you're like, dang, what did he do to kick my butt so hard? You could check out opponent's deck, or you could say, wow, I kicked this guy's butt. Let's not ever make this guy's deck, right? And then uh, you can also add them as a friend and do all that good stuff after you click on opponent's deck, just like normal. So another option to copy people's decks. <laughs> Um, shop changes is just wording, so nothing special here. Uh, there's now an Endgame, Avengers Endgame collection. I believe they still have Avengers Synergy, which is crazy because that's there's already so much Avengers Synergy. Uh, they're going hard on that. Oh, check this out. Visual effects have been added to Arena Blitz, uh, Horde Mode, and TV Station. I don't see the Blitz one, but if you check out... If you check out our horde mode here, you got little drones coming around, right? Checking it out. Cool. Um, I don't know if challenge mode was always like this. They didn't change challenge mode, did they? No. If you look at arena, though, you can see these little lights. They'll start going up and down like elevators. It's the dumbest thing in the world, but it's really cool if it happened. There we go. We got some elevators going on. Blitz, I don't see anything. If you know what it is, let me know. And then the most useless thing all the way up here, if it will go, is the video hub, but it does a cool little thing. There you go. If you ever want to check out someone else's video, shame on you, but uh, you could click there. And it's just the company's videos. It's not any YouTube or anything. All right. Um, so that's the visual effects. There's HD mode if your computer can handle it. Mine can't. <laughs> Oh, this Nick Fury. So this is important. Uh, we put in a lot of uh, requests for this, but some people didn't get Nick Fury, the leader card, when you upgraded your cards 30 times. You got the Ace Instructor. So uh, now you should be getting it, and if you haven't, make sure you send a note in there, send it to them, and be like, hey, yo, I didn't get it. What's up with that? Uh, some bug fixes. I guess I'm Wave 3 in Horde mode. I don't know. So really cool stuff I'm really happy about the blitz thing it gives you another another thing to do oh uh, let's go into event portal because there are a couple new things here just a couple and very simple ones too and it doesn't say it in here I wish it would give you the lowdown on the events too but uh, this is the same nobody needs to see that again um, the this is the dumbest thing in the world okay I understand you want to make money people but Battle lines, you can't be you can't be making a pay to win game, okay? So don't do this ever again, please. If you didn't know, if you spend like a hundred and fifty dollars, I think it is, you can get a bunch of bonus stuff. Uh, I think it's ridiculous and I hate it, but whatever. Um, special attendance, cool. So you get a it looks like a awesome pack a chance for an epic if you do seven days in a row. Or just seven days out of the, how many days? Thirteen. So if you're here every other day, that's pretty simple. Um, and I think that's it in here. But if you go to your dailies, which they, I already said before, but they did add some stuff. 
Uh, look at this receive all button. It's still my favorite thing in the game. Even though I only had two things, I want to hit it. Uh, if you go to your dailies and you go to your event, there's new added stuff. So clear, uh, so play blitz, which it, everyone should be since it's competitive right now. And then a shield operation elimination. So we click on move there. I don't know why they don't show it in the event portal. I think that's kind of interesting because a lot of people might miss this, even though it says event portal right here. But you switch car, or you use, uh, sorry, it's not switching cards this time. It's using instant complete tickets. So go into spec ops, find a card that you really want, drop 50 tickets, and you'll get five keys plus some uh, experience in gold. So don't don't forget that because sometimes that's hidden and that's it's kind of dumb that they don't put it in, in the event portal even though it says event portal for it. Whatever. Okay, so I hope you guys are are excited for this update. Again, they're doing they're doing. Oh my gosh, another card opening or a pack opening on this channel randomly. How about that? And I'm gonna get crap. I know I am. Look at this. I'm just gonna skip because. Uh, I think my computer will freeze if I don't. Look at that, just amazing stuff for Platinum 1. You gotta love it. It's just terrible. I am gonna be putting out a video on my challenge deck that I've been using. It's super fast in less than an hour and 10 minutes-ish. You can get your um, 29 wins and get to Platinum 1. Super fast, right away, and you get all your, your uh, points for it and 400 plus points that you can buy cards all that good stuff So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. You got your cute little animations here now You got competitive blitz. You got five new cards. It's good stuff. It's really good stuff. So uh, Please leave a like comment subscribe do all that good stuff. It really helps out the channel I'm trying to grow it. I really am leave a comment below if you want me to make a video on anything uh, I'm here for you Alright, that's it guys. Peace out.